tubers. I got something a little different for you today here. So we're, we're gonna head out to the shop and show you what I'm up to. What I'd bring you along for this journey. Working on some Wi-Fi cameras. I got one that's got a problem. Getting water in it. And I think I can save it. We're gonna find out. So let's go have at her. Little panel I had to fix for that printing place the other day. Did a little repair on that. Some controller for something or other. And we'll give you a tour here. So Let's get started. Okay, here's what the problem is. This is an outdoor Wi-Fi camera. You can probably see the moisture in that uh, top area there. It ran pretty hard the last few days. It don't like that. And apparently it gets on a circuit board and that shuts the camera totally down. And then I have another camera that was intermittent. And I'm going to see if I can make one good camera out of these two. Alrighty, let's start taking this guy apart here. It'll be interesting to see what's inside. Mm, let's see. Let's try getting him off. Okay. Mm, he stops right there. Okay, for some reason. And I'm sure this being whatever it is, it's going to be a Mic metric. All right, I don't know if you got to take this apart here or not, but we're going to find out. Just start taking stuff off you can take off and go from there. I guess you let that scoop take it so this ain't running away on me. Oh. Oh, okay. Here's swivel. That's how that's made. Goes from there. Oh, because of the angle on here, they must push it to tighten it up. Yeah, don't run away. We got our sockets here. These are American. Hope this will work. Nope. And I bet you it's an 8 millimeter. Well, 5 sixteenths this is. And 8 millimeter are both the same. Ceiling ring right there for that penny. Black washer and flat washer. Okay. You rate that down. I didn't think that was a press fit. Oh boy. What? Oh, and these are uh, infrared LEDs for night vision, and your camera would be right in here. Give you a better look. Don't ever come apart again. What holds him in? Well, two tiny, tiny screws right here. Okay. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even check on YouTube if anybody ever worked on one of these things before. Sometimes it's nice to do that in advance, but nah, we'll figure it out. Another day at the office. <laughs> oh, 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 God, that's nice. Heck yeah. There won't be no problem at all changing him out. And for clocking, I don't know if we got to do anything on that, but just for the hell of it. I'm going to mark that. But it's kind of nice when you take stuff apart. Uh, it's a kind of marks and stuff. I don't know if it's necessary on this deal here, but then you know who's who. God, I could probably just take that cover off even like that. Oh, that's going to be fun getting them little screws back in. Yeah, let's put a mark here. Mark here. 
and one here. Come here. Okay, now it's a little tiny connector. We need a pick tool to get him apart or how he comes apart. Big reef. Oh, there you have it. There's your little circuit board stuff on the back and uh, LEDs, infrared LEDs in the front. And if you ever want to see if these are working or not, actually a camera will pick these up. And where the eye can't see them, a camera can. Uh, like a cell phone or whatever. Someday I gotta get one. Oh my god. A lot of gizmos and gadgets in here, hey? Holy cow. Well, I don't even know if I'd have to take the rest of that apart then. On that other one. Well, let's see if this comes apart anyway. Curious. Oh, they got two tiny little screws that hold this all in then. But I take that out too in case it leaves. Huh. Yeah, two tiny tiny little screws in there. I don't know if you can see them or not, but two little Phillips. I don't know if I got over engineered this anymore, actually. I could probably just I get the moisture in there. Maybe just screw the front off and blow them out then. Seal up whatever I have to. Hmm. What do you think? And these studs here apparently hold it together too. That these two guys looks like a screwdriver, and then there are two Phillips here. Damn. Huh. Well, yeah, think about this for a minute. Well, the boat's in. I think I'm gonna just take the front off of this one, see where we're at on it. I don't know if I really gotta over-engineer this. We'll have to take that back cap off then and see where the water gets in it too. Because it was working until it got wet again. Oh, I just I didn't think these would be a press fit. A little O-ring right here. Oh wow. See all the water in here. And that morning looks good. Okay, let's oh, magnetic screwdriver. Well, let's pop this off here. I want to look in there and see what a circuit board looks where it's been getting water in it. Yeah, first I think I should mark this one too. Everything gets back together the same way then. Okay. okay. Mr. Scroogesley in there. in a different area you want to get these two mixed up where I know when a camera was dry yeah, it still worked yet so yeah well, what I'm thinking is uh, you see all that micro circuitry in there and uh, where that would, it wouldn't be happy if there's moisture in there, so. I don't know if I really should take this all apart. I'll just take off the base here and that tool to see where the water gets in. That O-ring is definitely good yet, so, yeah. We'll go from there, because I'm thinking there might be a leak right back in here. And then the water can get in there through this guy. So. Blow them up. Yeah. 
I blew them out, a little bit of moisture came out. And I don't know if it's feasible to take the rest all apart here, really. Now that lens that had the moisture in it, I filled him up with water. He's been sitting quite a while and he hasn't leaked at all yet. And uh, they have a sealing ring also, which contacts on this edge right here. That seems to be pretty good too. But we get over here, I took the back off this camera that I, it was having a problem. And this is all oxidized here, where it was getting water in into the back here. And you can see, yeah, you can see some right there too. And the wire don't look real happy, but if you look on here, if there's water sitting in there, and the way that looks, that's not going to seal real good. So, we're going to chase that down with some sealant. Okay, here's what I came up with. I took and held this off to the side, each direction, and packed it in there real good with a little screwdriver. I think we should be all set here now. It's definitely, I believe, where the water was getting in. And our little cup there is still not leaking, so we're good. Put it together. Well, folks, I got them all back together. I didn't think you needed a demo on the on the uh, assembly and uh, let's turn that one on should be this guy right here oh we got to enable him first yeah okay, enable. Oh. Okay. yeah hey look at that oh yeah I got him only at 10 frames a second let's enlarge that here I'll show you how to do that all you gotta do is click on that a couple times Okay, there we go. Oh. Whee. There we go. Stuff for the stuff. Yeah, that's only 10 frames a second. But anyway, it works. So we're good. Think I got enough cameras? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're done here. Oh, here's another one of my homemade gadgets. Got a camera mount. A nifty little stand. Now these cameras are 12 volt and you can take this adapter and plug it into here and you see it's for a 12 volt battery. I'll show you what that's about. Down here this is my diesel pump for filling the tractors. You see what that adapter there is. That's the one that I use. Use this power camera. Lasts a very long time. I gotta share a neat little story with you guys. Right when you come in the driveway. I put this up a while back. I know I showed it on my snowplow video. But you think I'm a little goofy sometimes with all my security and stuff. But uh, these storage units, they've been hitting them like crazy around this area. And they come in and try to hit mine. And uh, my latest experience was some guys had a, one of them carts you carry stuff with, you know, that you that's maybe heavier or whatever. Some guys came across the railroad tracks here and on the back side of my storage unit went around and then they come up here. And uh, you can see where the cart come through here with the tracks. And then uh, they got a bunch of mud on my driveway and they didn't drive the pickup truck in the driveway so I couldn't get a plate number. And uh, anyway, Quite the deal, but I'll tell you right out, them cameras pay for themselves because your deductible on your insurance is really a scam job. But I thought I'd share that story with you. You can get a kick out of that. But yeah, you think I'm all worried about stuff? No. Constantly wanting to rip stuff off around here. You wouldn't think it's not a big town place, you know, but yeah, that's kind of the way it is. And originally, I was only going to put up a couple of cameras, but it was kind of neat watching them on the screen, so. I kept going and going and going and it takes a while to hardwire to once, but I got a couple of Wi-Fi's. But anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. A friend, a friend brought this over for Jackie to do. She does wood refinishing. Kind of some neat pieces here. A little cedar chest. And so it's like brand new. So she's going to be refinishing the outside of this. I'll show you another little project she did 
in the house, which is kind of nice. Here's a little table that Jackie just refinished for me. I built that when I had my apartment. And uh, it was looking like dumpster food. And uh, I'm real happy how it turned out. She likes doing that kind of work. So took care of me on that one. Tubers, here's a little more bonus footage of what I do when you're not around. Uh, as you can see, we have a cable here. This tree was ready to tip over. It was at a <laughs> guaranteed 45 degree angle. Anyway, I cabled him up against this guy, which is tipping the other way. And I took the loader and shoved him vertical again. I gotta show you this. Yeah, I knocked a few branches off. <laughs> if you think he ain't gonna, you know. But I took the loader and pushed up here. It worked real good. So that's just one of the many projects. I'll show you a couple more. Yeah, just so you know, this time of year is always busy, busy for me. Uh, I think I got like 170 trees and I always spray them side A and B. It takes a while, even with that humongous sprayer. But uh, that's another one of the things I had to do. Oh, for aphids and it's called gall, stuff like that. Yeah, you prefer to leave the spiders, so I mix it at a lower rate and hopefully everything keeps going good because that call really sucks they came in with that and i pretty much still got it under control there's a little white dog in my yard today now here's the best part of everything so i can finally maybe like what they call do some more videos seven months later this thing is finally finally done and I just got my decals from the DL guy and had to install them. What they are is, you, you know, you got your uh, silver and then uh, you got to lay the, uh, oh, the neat stuff, the red stuff over the top of that. But anyway, the card is like finished, finished, other than I got to make a rear license plate yet. So a lot of LED lighting now. Yeah, definitely had some changes. Registration. Got some new lights for the storage unit, them halogens. Middle of winter, you go out there to work on something. Uh, they don't work. Ain't that convenient. And then here's, I think I had footage of this on my uh, earlier part of the video. And this is a chest that Jackie was working on for someone. So she's got it all nicely refinished and ready to go. And it kind of looks like it's been aged a little bit. But uh, anyway, pretty cool, huh? And then she started working on this guy here, too. She don't know where we're going with that yet. So that's what she does if I don't keep her busy on the car stuff. Well, tubers, thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to catch you back here again. So if possible, likes are very much appreciated. So anyway, you take care. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Fun out here the last couple days, that's for sure.